A lot of things going on with the program here today. First and foremost, we are going to take you to school right now because it is time to check in with our good friend. I think today we have to call him Professor Lauren Merkel as we're going to learn a little bit about RMDs. So, uh, Professor Merkel, this would be RMD 101. Is that right? That's right. We're going to talk about required minimum distributions, which happens for most people at age 72. It's when you're mandated to start taking distributions from your qualified accounts like 401ks and IRAs, whether you want to or not. All right. So a lot of people, they want to save, 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 and some don't try it. They try to leave their money alone. But you're saying that it is now necessary and mandated that when you turn 72, you have to start pulling some of that money out. And the reason why is because this is money that the IRS has never been able to collect a revenue on before. When you put your money into your 401k plan on a pre-tax basis or into your IRA, and then you deduct those contributions, none of that money plus the growth has ever been taxed. So the IRS is saying, even if you don't want to at age 72, they're going to mandate you to take a distribution on it because then you're going to be taxed on it at whatever ordinary income tax bracket you are in, which means the IRS can now start to collect the revenue off of all this money that's been growing for all these years. Ah, uh, so that's the catch. I was going to ask you, is it good or bad when this happens? I think you may have answered it, but uh, for people that are getting up in, into like into the early 70s, having that income coming toward them, that's got to be a benefit, isn't it? Well, it can be. Certainly having an income is a good thing, but there are a lot of families that we work with that they don't necessarily want to take an income from that pot of money yet. So even though they, they don't want to, they still have to take that income, be taxed on it, and then figure out what they want to do with the rest of the income after the tax. So there are many people, it kind of sounds contrary to what a lot of us think. We retire, we, we need to take income, we have Social Security, maybe a pension, we have these investments, so it's not a bad thing to take money out of the account, and it's really not. But if you're not prepared for it, this is where that tax torpedo comes into comes into play. I call it H72 is when that tax torpedo comes because you have this tax, uh, this tax torpedo that's coming to take your retirement ship and it can really blow it out of the water if you're not prepared for it because the tax bill that's due on these required minimum distributions can increase the overall tax bracket that you're in and increase the dollar amount in taxes that you pay if you're not prepared. How much money are we talking uh, that you have to start pulling out of your accounts? It starts out about 3.65% and then every year that percentage increases. So the whole idea is that over your life expectancy, your retirement life expectancy, you're going to take out the vast majority of those pre-tax dollars, again, in, in an effort for the IRS to collect a tax revenue off of that money. So that's about $3,600, roughly $3,650, um, uh, if you're talking $100,000 in an account. Yes, that's correct. All and right. again, that percentage increases every year. Wow. All right. So uh, now, did they suspend this in 2020? Uh, is, is that the, the some of the things we understand? Yes, as a part of the COVID relief package, they did suspend RMD. So whether you have an inherited IRA and you're otherwise mandated to take distributions out of it, or you were post 70 and a half and you were mandated to take distributions from your IRA in 2020, you did not have to if you didn't want to. All but right. that has now resumed. So in 2021, we are back to the old bill, meaning we have to take out RMDs from all of those accounts that were mandated to take distributions from. What's one quick thing someone could do if they have to take some money out, a tax strategy that they might be able to utilize? Well, this, this is a pretty cool tax strategy because with the standard deduction being so high, a lot of people don't receive a tax benefit from donating to charities. But once you're over age 70 and a half, even if you're not mandated to take distributions till 72, at 70 and a half, you can take what's called a qualified charitable distribution, which means you take money out of your pre-tax IRA or 401k plan, you donate it directly to a charity, it does qualify or suffice what you're mandated to take out, and you do not pay any taxes on whatever amount you donate to the charity as well. So it, it works in a lot of different ways. You benefit the community by, by uh, donating to the charity, and you don't pay taxes on this money you otherwise would have to pay taxes on. All right. People want to get this uh, type of information and more tips from you. What's the easiest way they can gather that information? 
Uh, it's very simple. All you have to do is go to MerkelPlan.com, uh, and then you can sign up for a complimentary 15-minute retirement checkup phone call. We can talk about this kind of stuff. Uh, and also, we have something pretty cool going on Tuesday, June 29th at 6 p.m. at B&B Theaters in Ankeny. It's kind of our night at the movies where we talk for an hour about these types of strategies, and then we enjoy a movie and some snacks. All right. It sounds like a Merkel plan that everybody needs to uh, take, uh, take advantage of. Lauren Merkel, thank you so much, Professor. We learned a ton here this morning, and we look forward to talking to you next time. It's good to see you, Lou. Happy first day of summer. Yeah, happy first day of summer to you, too. Don't forget to take a selfie on National Selfie Day.